Je suis né à Istanbul. Je suis en même temps journaliste, écrivain, politologue euh, et militant de droits de l'homme. I came from Iran. I write as a journalist, as a poet, and writing is my job. I was born in Eritrea. The best and the only way I can introduce myself is just um, a writer. En 2011, Erdogan gagne son troisième élection euh, générale. Et là, c'est à ce moment-là qu'il a décidé de prendre le pouvoir en main. Donc, euh, on peut dire que euh, euh, Erdogan a euh, instauré sa dictature personnelle, sa tyrannie personnelle. Euh, je savais que euh, la Turquie allait euh, vers une sorte de euh, dictature islamique. Ils ont, gagné les, ils ont remporté les élections et j'ai fait un article. Euh, donc j'ai été condamné à un an de prison pour avoir insulté. La séparation de pouvoir n'existant plus, le pouvoir euh, ju judiciaire est lié directement à Erdogan, euh, qui est l'actuel président. Et donc cette euh, relative indépendance de la justice n'existe point. C'est fini. Euh, petit à petit, ils éliminent euh, tous les journaux euh, d'opposition. Donc, euh, actuellement, euh, concernant la presse, les médias et les journalistes, euh, j'ai une seule chose à dire, la presse turque n'existe pas, c'est fini. Il n'y a pas de bons journalistes en Turquie, le, ils font un sort, une sorte de métier, bien sûr. Ils publient des choses, mais c'est une forme de, de prospectus de propagande. Ils font un métier de, de relations publiques, peut-être on peut l'appeler, au service du pouvoir, mais ce n'est pas du journalisme. Donc, le vrai pouvoir des islamiques en Turquie, c'est en 2011. Et l'Europe euh, euh, voit, est-ce qu'il y a une dernière sortie C'est la dernière étape ou non euh, Il y a une, un glissement vers l'autoritarisme de l'État Il n'y a pas de glissement, c'est fini. Ce processus est fini. En Eritrea, believe me, we are, it is a world apart. It is disconnected from everything. There, there is a regime without a constitution, without a parliament. It's just a one, a one man's show. There is one man, he doesn't have any cabinet, he doesn't listen to anyone. After all, there is one TV, one, uh, one, one newspaper, one radio, and they all work with propaganda. There is no creative work, there is nothing. The regime has created so many people that they can protect the regime which is exactly killing them. So the regime worked on the minds of the people and tuned the minds of the people. It's very difficult to understand, but the people still uh, is, is one of the governments which has a big uh, support. The revolution in Eritrea was to create an ignorant society. He doesn't ask, he doesn't know after all. If you have 10 friends in Eritrea, 10 very close friends, and they are journalists, So if nine of your friends are in prison, imprisoned for the reason that they don't know, you don't know, everybody doesn't know, then the people ask you, why are you not in prison? They never ask, why are your nine friends in prison? They ask you, why are you not in prison? The last time uh, most of my friends were in prison was in the year 2009. Actually, it is very difficult to say a prison. They disappeared from our eyes. Mm, a prison, if I say a prison, that's not the right word, actually, because mm, prison is elsewhere. You can visit. But in our case, we don't know where they are. So every time you write a little bit uh, out of the line, they close everything, and we are silenced 100%. The worst thing now is self-censorship. Now in Eritrea, there is no journalist left. Everybody, uh, we think a journalist is, is a cadre for the government. So once I wrote about um, the fate of dictators in Africa, but I didn't know about my fate then. Uh, the editor called me and I said, what is this? I was not taken to the prison. Maybe um, I, I have had a project. Maybe my, my boss said he has a project to do, just to let him finish and take him afterwards, <laughs> maybe. But anyway, I was not in prison. Then I had to think. 
I have to think of living the country. So being in Eritrea is uh, a little, it's not a place to dream. It's, it's, it's not a place to live. I worked uh, in a newspaper in Tehran and I heard about a young girl who had been killed in prison because of uh, sex relation with somebody. I could not believe it, why? And I heard that she was only 16 years. I had written a story, an article about Atefe, and uh, nobody wanted to publish it. In my newspaper that I was the assistant of chief editor and they said, we cannot allow you we cannot let you to challenge with judiciary in Iran. It's danger for you, it's danger for us. And I published it in my blog and I uh, published it in the website. And finally, a filmmaker in London uh, called me and told that she wants to uh, make a film about Atefe. This film. Um, had been published in English, France, Italy, USA, and some countries. I, I know that. This is my life now. Artifact changed my life as a journalist and poet to an activist. I believe that uh, one, uh, one to change something without violence in Iran began by the women movement because we were the first movement in Iran who demonstrated in, in the street and said, we don't want to fight with violence. We don't need it anymore in this country. We want to talk with you, even if you are, you are a dictator. We want to talk with you. You can change something. You can change the system. Mr. Ahmadinejad um, had been chosen by the system, not by the people. Uh, they arrested many of us, uh, the activists, journalists, uh, lawyers, writers, politics. Each, each year, Iran is in, unfortunately in top of the biggest uh, prison for journalists. And I thought I could not continue working here because I heard and I knew that they will arrest me very soon. And uh, I had an opportunity to participate in a festival in Sweden. And I left my country with, uh, with my daughter. And I had a chance to continue my, my work. That, that is very important for me because uh, I could continue my, my job and my fighting for freedom of expression and, and freedom at all. Les, les combats que je, je, je continue actuellement, euh, c'est relativement important. Parce que euh, le processus est terminé. Euh, Qu'est-ce qu'on peut faire face à un État euh, Moi, je l'appelle euh, le totalitarisme théocratique. J'ai tout fait pour euh, changer les choses en Turquie. Et au bon moment, euh, avec, en tant qu'intellectuel, avec mes, mes écrits, mes prises de position, et les choses se sont empirées davantage. Chaque fois qu'on y a mis les, la, la main dans la pâte, euh, euh, c'est de pire en pire chaque jour. Chaque année, on s'occupe du pays, bien sûr, mais euh, euh, intellectuellement, euh, politiquement et euh, euh, personnellement, la Turquie est finie pour moi. Donc, j'ai rayé de la carte parce que je vois que c'est un cas euh, désespérant. Actuellement, j'ai euh, euh, 63 ans. Donc, pour moi, c'est une nouvelle vie qui, qui, qui commence. Euh, en fermant la porte de Turquie, euh, j'ai tout un... Uh, to turn continent devant moi. If I tell you that uh, I have nothing to do with Eritrea and I will not be working for Eritrea, uh, that's a lie. If I don't believe that uh, there is change, 
I wouldn't have fight. I wouldn't have used my, my, my time for nothing. But we still have hope. That's why we fight. We still believe that we can change. Our fight is not only to change the regime, but to change the minds. That if the regime is gone, we will remain with the same minds. So what change are we going to do? My fight was that we have to change radically and starting from the grassroots. My passion was writing for children. I had a trust in the Eritrean children. It's a process. If they have done, if they have come to this situation for 50 years, they think I can do it overnight, or not only me, but uh, my colleagues, of course. Uh, I don't think we can do it overnight, but we still fight. And if I don't do it, my child can do it. If my child cannot do it, his child can, but uh, change is on the way. I hope because I have to have hope. I can't continue without hope. I hope that they can change something better for people. Depuis dix mois, je suis en Suède dans le cadre de ICON, qui est une organisation euh, norvégienne euh, qui aide aux intellectuels, journalistes, écrivains, artistes qui ont des problèmes juridiques dans leurs pays respectifs. La bonté, la vraie humanité existe en, en Suède, dans ces pays du Nord. Un petit pays, mais un grand peuple quand même. I went to Uganda. If I tell you about Uganda, uh, 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 every word will fail me. Uganda is my home of choice. By choice, I'm a Ugandan. Then in Uganda, I opened my eye. It was an eye opener. Let me cut it short, because if I start to talk about Uganda, that will be endless. When I left my country, I was in Sweden for four months. But I was thinking about Iran all the time. I could not be released of my, my situation. I said to my husband that we cannot change, we cannot think about this home too much because I think we will come back to Iran very soon. And he was angry with me. And he said, yes, we don't need, we not, didn't need to buy something. Uh, we have three dishes, it's enough. We don't need to a carpet and it, it's something else. We have just a sofa, we have this bed, it's enough. One day, my daughter uh, played with a neighbor and uh, went to their home. She was nine. When he came back to home, uh, was very happy and told me, Mama, uh, they have a home. I said, what? Uh, she said, they have a home, like uh, our home in Tehran. We don't have it here. I thought that we cannot continue. This is our home and should be a home. Tomorrow, I and my husband went to the city and bought many things. Even uh, some flowers for the home, a carpet, new carpet, and uh, everything that could change our home to a home. Because of her, we have done many things as a normal family, <laughs> not just as an activist or uh, a journalist, as a people. Moi, je ne me considère pas comme un réfugié. Comme je suis un, un, un Européen, euh, euh, partout c'est chez moi. You know, I hate this, this word, the refugee. It's like a mark. You know, it's like a mark. I don't like it. After all, I have my home here. Uh, I mean, home is where I feel comfortable. I feel comfortable in Norway, so that's my home. I don't feel comfortable in Eritrea, so that's not home. I was a little bit confused about the word exile. 
where did we exile? Though we are in the same planet that we born. You born in this planet, don't you? I also born in this planet, so we're in the same planet. J'ai beaucoup pleuré. C'était d'une barbarie et à, à un tel point qu'il n'y a pas de mots pour expliquer. J'ai pleuré longtemps et, et ça a duré plusieurs semaines. Les attentats à Paris aussi. Et je, je, je ne vivais qu'avec ça. Et il y avait les portraits dans le monde chaque jour. Je lisais chaque jour. Chaque jour, je pleurais. Et que que puis-je faire de plus c est, c est, Ce sont des actes inconcevables. I cried. I really cried. Freedom and equality as the base of democracy is based on freedom of thinking, freedom of telling, freedom of expression. That's all. That's all that we have to protect. It's dangerous, I think, not for Europe, not for us. It's dangerous for democracy. We will you lose it. It's too much dangerous. And this is exactly that terrorists want it. This is my weapon. And they have a gun. And the difference is, they will kill the bodies. We will revive the hope and the soul using this peaceful weapon. Nous sommes là pour le bien du public. Donc on, on fait des, des recherches, et on prend des risques énormes pour que le peuple ait ces informations. Et c'est ces informations qui font vivre aussi une vraie démocratie. Donc sans la liberté d'expression et de presse, les démocraties ne peuvent pas exister. Rien ne peut euh, euh, bloquer et limiter la liberté d'expression, ni, ni la sensibilité, ni quoi que ce soit. La, la liberté d'expression est totale. C'est la mère de toutes les libertés. Sans la liberté d'expression, il n'y a pas de démocratie. Why, why do you think the so-called president in Eritrea fears this? Because it can change the society, and he doesn't want to, the society to be changed. The writers can create people with a better tolerance. People need truth. Truth is like a light, like this light. They are not supposed to live in darkness. Investigative journalist, he has to find out the truth. So the writers are always in a crucial place. Writers change the world.